cracking down on reckless driving by big rigs. Nevada State Police say last year there were more accidents involving these large vehicles, and that goes for this year as well. So in a Fox 5 exclusive, Danny Mastin takes you on a ride along with Nevada State Police and shows the process of getting dangerous trucks off our roads. <laughs> How are you doing today? Sharing the highway with a truck driver can increase your risk of being involved in a deadly accident. Traffic patterns increase, more vehicles on the road, people get impatient, start doing things they shouldn't be doing. So I tagged along with Trooper Daryl Casabon with Nevada State Police. Tico drive it when he have it. To show you how the department is working to reduce crashes involving big rigs. Morning driver, you mind if I open up? Speeding, no turn signal, abrupt lane changes. Nevada State Police are cracking down on violations by commercial vehicles just like this one. We're trying to find uh, safety violations. That's probably one of the uh, most important. We're trying to find things that, uh, that vehicles shouldn't be going down the road because of violations we're seeing. Casabom stopped many truck drivers within minutes of being out on the road. The first driver we stopped was running a little fast. We're not going to cite him today. Just want to bring the speed to his attention. The second driver the trooper pulled over had a California base plate on his truck and found out he did not have a trip permit to operate in Nevada. Another reason you have no right turn signal and you have no right to rear brake light. We found out the registration on the truck had expired December 31st of 21, so that was a good stop. The last stop, Casabon pulled over a driver for changing lanes abruptly and saw the emergency brake hose had worn through the outer rubber cover. You see the reinforcement plies are frayed, so that actually puts the uh, tractor out of violation for that bad owner. All of these stops led to an inspection. We walk around any violations that we see. We record lights, tires, brakes in the frame, suspension. Can I hear your horn, your little one? Perfect. To give you a perspective of how many accidents involving big rigs have happened so far this year, we had two in March and two in April. New truck drivers, um, inexperienced. A lot of them go to truck driving school. Once they get out, they have their CDL. Casabom urges you to do your best to not follow big rigs too closely, do not cut them off, and do not suddenly stop in front of them. A lot of the crashes we have are motor vehicles. They will actually change lanes into the truck. Uh, we've got a lot of those. The truck driver tries to avoid contact, rolls the truck. NSP has 11 to 12 commercial officers within the department, but that is down from its usual 17. We are a tight knit group family. Um, we bounce questions off of each other. There's a lot to know with commercial, and uh, we do work well together. I'm Danny Mastin, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas. Kasselbaum adds that 60 miles an hour in a commercial vehicle requires nearly two football fields to stop. In Nevada, truck drivers are able to register up to 129,000 pounds. And to report any truck driver violations, call 911 or Highway Patrol.